crawlers. Creepy crawlers. Creepin' and crawling. Creepy crawlers. Creepy crawlers. Creepy crawlers. Creepy crawlers. Creepy crawlers. Creepy crawlers. Creepy In 1964, yes, 1964, we are going that far. In 1964, Mattel released a product called the Thing Maker. Thing Maker. Thing Maker. Which, long story short, was basically an easy bake oven on steroids. A glorified hot plate that should have never been given to children in the first place. Just plug it in. Kids would squirt plastic goop into a mold and then put them into the Thing Maker. And then a few minutes of heat induced chemical reactions later, out came a thing. <gasps> Woo! And probably a bunch of health problems, but first the thing. Oh my god, the thing. The toy included a selected amount of mold sets from cars, fighting men, and you guessed it, creepy crawlers. Their most popular mold at the time. Thing Maker was pretty much a major hit for Mattel in the 1960s. But after a decline in sales and a rise in safety concerns, it was discontinued in 1978. What's the safety concern, you ask? It was a hot plate. They gave kids a hot plate and told them, have fun with it. You do the math. Or try to do it on the fingers that weren't burned by the Thing Maker in 1964. Thing Maker! As the 90s approached, the rise of consumer nostalgia rose for the boomer generation. Which, in 1992, prompted a man named Steven LeBenfield from a company called Toy Max to gain the licensing and patents for a product called Creepy Colors. <laughs> And the female counterpart, treasures and trinkets. Come on, get it, girls, because it's pink. And because the mid-80s seemed to be the period where people actually started caring about safety of children, instead of squirting plastic goop into a sizzling mold, kids injected it into the mold, into an oven that would not unlock until it was fully cooled. Ingenuity, right? The new and safer creepy crawlers worked, and sales boomed within the first year. And the creepy empire was born. They even developed a partnership with Power Rangers and Jurassic Park. Everything was looking up for these little guys. Until it all went crashing in 1996. Then they tried re-re-releasing the product in the year 2000. But unfortunately that fizzled out about a year later. But then in 2002, a magical company called Jax Pacific decided to buy out Toy Man and proceeded to keep on releasing the Creepy Callers line, plus some remixes and additions for the next few years after. But now, the toy's not even listed on their website. And here we have it today, girl! Yeah! The creepy crawler, ladies and gentlemen. I like making these videos with a mic in my hand because I feel like I'm selling you guys the product. That's like my main goal. I'm trying to make you guys wish you were me. But I feel like all I've done so far is just garner a bunch of sympathy about my life choices. But creepy crawlers, ladies and gentlemen. I remember this toy. For a brief period. There was a commercial for it every two seconds on Nickelodeon. And I was a Nickelodeon boy growing up because I was trashy. And I remember they kept on showing this. And my gulba ass really wanted this. Not because I was a boy and I was into like creepy crawlers and spiders and shit and gushing and goo and all that fuck shit. It showcased something that looked very sciencey. And I am a boy that loves me some science experiments. But my parents never got this for me because because they said it would be messy. Well, I'm gonna prove them right. Today, we're going to learn that maybe my parents did make a good parenting decision and not get me this at all. I believe the original Creepy Callers come with an oven, but this one does not at all. I had to buy this one from eBay. It's been sitting in a box for like two months, but now I finally got the strength to open it and for all of us to see. Was our childhood worth it? I don't believe so. Every single one of these videos I've done so far, we've all just found out it was just a scam one after the other. I believe this is the 2000s version. 2010. Oh, this is 2010. Girl? This is from 2010 and I had to buy it from eBay? Oh, this bitch flopped. The whole box is in English. So now we know why it failed. <laughs> Creepy Crawler's Bug Maker. Make. Phil. Smash. Ooh. Woo. And in a different language. Mako. Hello. smash <laughs> Ooh, Italiano. French. Le make. Le Phil. Le smash. Oh, wee oui, wee. Oui. And I also like that on the box, they also advertise other toys you can get. Like you can get a toy that smashes the bugs instead of you smashing them yourself. That's fucking stupid. Please. 
Pig. Includes one bud maker main unit. One knife. Oh, no. We're giving kids knives? Jesus Christ. What is this? And requires four D-size batteries not included. Give me a second. Jesus Christ. Let's go digging for a few minutes, girl, but we got it. As you can see, this package has not been opened, but I believe I've had these batteries for like three years. These size batteries was such a 2000s toy thing because these batteries are fucking expensive. These batteries probably cost more than a lot of the toys that require them used to cost back in the day. I am so sorry, parents. I'm just now realizing how expensive it was to raise a child. <laughs> That's why I'm gay, bitch. The tape was completely disintegrated. Let's keep that in mind. Ooh. Get out. Get out. There, we go. There, there it is. There we go. Fuck you. <laughs> okay, let me stop. So what we have here is... Some... Radioactive looking shit. <laughs> this looks like it was used to be something, but over the years it turned into something else. This is gonna be fun. I mean, ooh, wow. Ooh my god. Don't you wish you were me? About to get a chemical burn and shit, girl. This looks like it evaporated. Mold eggs with a syringe. That is. Kids don't know what drugs are at that age, okay? Let's just stop thinking about that. And boom, here it is. Creepy crawler. Ooh. <laughs> now what do I do? Where do the batteries go? Why does it need batteries? What part of it is battery operated? Where are we? The little quick start instructions here. The first thing it says is read the main instruction sheet before using the product for the first time. There was no instruction sheet. So now I feel like I was just fucked with. The person that sold me this on eBay told me it was unopened, but girl, I think it was open. Girl, I might need to get my money back. Okay, give me a second. I'm gonna go to Google. Creeping and cool. So a lot transpired in the 20 minutes that I paused this video. First off, I have diarrhea. Just feel the need to say that out loud. Y'all probably didn't ask for this, but you know what? We've gotten close over the years. <laughs> Second off, while Googling, trying to figure out how all this works, I decided to open up everything and laid it out. I then found the instructions. Which I feel like it's kind of a flaw, okay? When I open up packages from like the 2000 or so, usually the instructions are like right in front. As soon as you pull everything out, the instructions come with it. But in this thing, they decided to package the instruction with the tray. So you just go in straight up thinking they forgot the instruction. And you start opening everything up. And then suddenly, boom, the instructions are right in front of your fucking face. I don't like that. I don't like that game. That's called deception. But here we are. I put it all together. I put in the batteries. It required four big ass D batteries, girl. No wonder this shit flopped. Do you know how much D batteries cost? No real question, please answer me that because I bought those like two years ago. I do not remember. Caution, do not eat. Why? When I first got this, did I believe that it was a candy maker? 100% strongly remember that they made a candy maker for candy bugs once. Like I can't be going crazy about this. Like they made this before. They made candy makers before. Like I'm not crazy, right? I don't know, but I can't eat this one apparently. So now I'm sad. Keep away from eyes. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Is there a different language? This whole thing is just, just in English. It's only English. That's so disappointing. So we already have a mold in the molding block. I'm just gonna go with this mold. I don't give a shit about, what is this? What is this? What the hell is this? Girl, I don't know. If you wish to create a hollow bug that you can fill with bug goo, use the clear bug molds, place the core, what? Girl, I don't fucking know. I just wanna make a bug. Don't give me options. What the fuck is this? Creepy crow. Insert the bug mold frame into the bug maker as shown. We gotta put its pussy up towards the dick. Not scientific words. Shut up. Loose the bellows by rotating locking ring counterclockwise until it stops. Okay, okay, okay. I was like, girl, what's the bellows? Warning, to avoid personal injury, never insert hands or foreign object into the bug maker dispenser unit. Or what? You gonna fight me? Cause I'm ready to fucking fight. We can fight. I can fight. You know I can fight. You know I can fight. I can fight. So we gotta answer two bug eggs into the bellow. Girl, okay, whatever. Wig, do I open it and grab it and place it in there by itself like raw dog? 
Girl wig. Let's go. ASMR opening bug tray. That was not pretty. Let me do the other one. Let me do the other one real quick. Did you come yet? I'm so sorry. So three eggs in the pussy. Let's go. Ooh. Ooh. What if this is not working at all, girl? What if I can't even get this off the phone. Are you guys ready for this? Ready for this? Fuck yeah. Okay, now let's do a red one. Oh, there we go. And into the hall. Yummy. You hard yet? Align the tabs on the bellow with the notches on the dispenser unit. And attach the bellows onto the dispenser unit. Ooh, what the fuck does that mean? <laughs> Time to turn it on, girl! The power on indicator will light up indicating the unit is turned on. So here is the moment of truth. Will it turn on? Let's see. Did it? I can't tell. Lights on, lights on, lights on. Okay, so it's on, it is on. Okay, so I'm into this. You see this? They have an entire different situation about heating up the plastic goop and entering into the mold. Compared to when you used to just have to like put it in an oven or like a fucking hot plate bullshit shit. Now they have an entire mechanicism with the twisting and the fucking and you know, girl, you know. Where does the knife come into place though? Like why did you give kids a knife? Why do I feel like I need to stab somebody with this? Just to prove a point. The ready light will come on in 10 to 14 minutes. Girl, we're only doing one bug. <laughs> okay, it's ready. Look. That was the longest 10 minutes of my goddamn life. Press down on the handle of the dispenser unit. Make sure the nozzle is entered into the big mold. TM. Hole. Before each use, when the unit is cold, use the tweezers to remove any hard. Okay, whatever. Fuck. Okay, so into the hole. Press the bellows down slowly and gently. Are y'all ready? <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh shit, it's already filling up, <gasps> girl. <gasps> oh my god. Hey. To fill the whole bug. Why is it not? The bug mold is not fully filled. It has not fully filled the bug mold. It said three eggs, and the three eggs did not fill the bug mold. Can I just put in the egg? I'm just gonna put in the egg. I'm gonna hurt myself. I'm an adult. I can do it. Not me. Okay, no, I got away. I got away. I got away with you. Oh, it's not even ready anymore. Jesus Christ. Bro, bro. I'm just gonna sit here and wait. I'm gonna wait for it to. Oh, never mind. It just turned green. Here we go. <laughs> Y'all ready? Here we go. <gasps> Hello? Come on. Come on. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. It's not coming out. Guys, it's not coming out. Guys, I think we broke it. <laughs> Wait. Nope. Oh my god. <laughs> Shut up! Did I really just break it? Why is it not oozing out anymore? The girl is not girling. She's not girling. <gasps> oh my god. Putting another one in. I will not give up. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Give me some. There we go. No. Nope. nope. I lied. I lied. I lied. I'm lying. It's not. That was a weird ass noise. It's not doing it anymore. It got clogged. And I'm too lazy to figure out how to unclog that shit. Yep, it got clogged. It's just pushing out from the top. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. Half a bug. <laughs> Well, let's put it in an ice container for three minutes. Wee. And there we go. Like it just gave up on me. Wait, let me see. Oh my God. Yep, it's broken, girl. Broke the toy within the first attempt, girl. That has to be a record. Like it just gave up. Wig. <laughs> Shall I sing to us all as we wait for these three minutes? Ooh, creepy crawlers. What the fuck? What the fuck is this? Ooh, creepy crawlers. You should have just gave me the fucking hot plate. Ooh, creepy crawlers. Now we see why this toy flopped. Ooh, creepy crawlers. After one attempt, the bitch just stopped.
And I relate. I relate so much. Okay, I think it's been three minutes. Okay, I'm over this. Let's let's see what the fuck. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Uh. And finally. Ew. This is it. This is what we what we fought for in the 2000s. You know, this is what they brought back for us. <laughs> Creepy crawlers. I can see where it's trying to go. Like, it made half a spider. Which is, like, really cute. But at the same time, what the fuck? You know? I'm the loser here. I'm the loser after all, guys. I cannot sell this for shit. I think I'm never going to leave the space of y'all just giving me a bunch of sympathy. <laughs> well, what do we learn today, kids? We learned that this shit was stupid. And we were sold on imagination and spirit. What did we learn today? If you try to bring back a toy from the 1960s, it's gonna perform like a toy from the 1960s. Racist. It's Quick. Oh, yummy. Ooh, ooh, eat it up. Oh, mm, That's what I like in my meal. That's hilarious. But you know what? It's a video. It's a YouTube video we're going to do and publish. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any other toys that you want me to review or try to get my hands on, leave it in the comments down below. Shout out to at Infinite Wolf and at Gabe with a bunch of numbers for retweeting my last video on Twitter. And that's it. I need to go shower, girl. I feel sticky. Like, I feel like I'm covered in chemicals. I don't know why. Oh, this is all supposed to be the goop that was going to go inside the bug. So when you squish it, it's supposed to make like a uh, bug goop. Boys are gross. <laughs> Anyways, my name is Matt. I have a short channel if you want to check it out. Also, the Japan trip is still going on August 12th if you guys want to join. You'll be in the stream for all the information for that. Other than that, I'm going to go. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Bye.